This is like a beautiful fairy tale almost. As soon as you walk through the doors, there's just butterflies everywhere and flowers and ponds. It's so magical. Butterfly enthusiasts are not. We think you're gonna love Butterfly World. Hi and welcome to Aiken Adventures. Well, we're taking you to do all the best things in all the best places all around Florida. And today we're taking you to Butterfly World and Coconut Creek, Florida. Butterfly World is the first park of its kind in the Western Hemisphere. It encompasses 10 acres of land and is home to more than 20,000 butterflies. The first stop is the laboratory. Right when you first walk in, there is a research center and it actually shows you the caterpillars. So I think it's pretty neat for especially the kids to see them at this stage. Hey, it's a caterpillar. You see the caterpillar in there? Mm -hmm. You may be familiar with the book Hungry Hungry Caterpillar. This is an accurate description because butterfly larvae do nothing but eat. And then you can see them in their cocoon stage. Butterfly World has raised over 1 million butterflies. As you travel around the attraction, there are 13 stops along the way. A one-way route has been laid out for you and a map is provided at the time of your entrance. Stop number two is the Paradise Adventure Aviary. This is definitely a magical place for our three-year-old. She's loving this. No, you can't touch them. Because the people said not to. Vivian keeps trying to catch them. I'm pretty sure that that's not allowed. <laughs> have to keep a close eye on her for the butterfly's sake. There are butterflies from more than five continents represented in this area. You do have to be careful when you walk because they like to sit on the ground and you do not want to step on one. They're most active when it's sunny outside and because they're cold blooded, it requires that it be a little bit warmer in the day. So evidently butterflies have to take time in the morning to recharge by the sun. Me too, butterflies. On the day that we arrived, we found that they were already very active just a little past 9 a.m. Sorry, butterflies. <laughs> I'm laughing because Vivian keeps walking through and the butterflies are swarming around her and she's going, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, oh, excuse me. <laughs> the next stop is the Hanging Garden and Emerging Area. Here you can see the miracle of metamorphosis on one side with new butterflies emerging from their cocoons every single day. And on the other side, you can see some beautiful hanging plants. These plants are sensitive to the touch and will close up when you put your finger on them. <laughs> Stop number four is the tropical rainforest. It's an oasis for the butterflies. This section contains thousands of exotic butterflies. I think the blue butterflies are my favorite. They're so vibrant. These butterflies over here are enjoying a banana snack. There are also a few families of birds that live in this section as well. My favorite is the cave and the waterfall located here. Now we've got to do a quick check in the mirror to make sure that we don't have any hangers on so that we can move on to the next section. The butterfly freeze. Stop number five is Grace Gardens. Here you can take a stroll along the banks of the lake and enjoy some of the tropical plants. All of the butterflies in this section are wild and are attracted just by the plants. Stop number six is the vine covered maze on the way to the tropical bird aviary. In this section, you can see all kinds of plants, flowers, and vines. This garden houses the largest collection of passion flowers in the world. I think this one is so beautiful. In this section is an aviary where you can see all different kinds of birds. There are also some beautiful flowers in here. Vivian said, I want to give them some of my goldfish. I was like, please don't. We're going to get kicked out. We had to take a detour to stop number 12. Because, well, you know, children. Tell us if you understand in the comment section below. Hey, what you got? I got a popsicle banana. Cheers. I 
a strawberry popsicle. I got the pineapple popsicle. I mean, we got the pineapple popsicle. <laughs> Looks like they also serve hot dogs, cheeseburgers, and a couple of different kinds of pizzas. There's also another cafe in the center of everything. Stop number seven is the English Rose Garden. At the lorikeet encounter, you get the opportunity to feed birds. Make sure to bring cash to purchase a cup of nectar. Yeah, they like your juice. Stop number 10 is the Butterfly Museum and Bug Zoo. In this section, you can see different types of butterflies and bugs. Look at these giant spiders. Oh, they're not yuck. This is an insect. Vivian said, they're just insects, mommy. They're not yucky. I'm like, girl, you have not seen some of these. Inside the bug zoo, you'll see Madagascar hissing cockroaches, millipedes, tarantulas, and so many more creepy crawlies. Next, we're heading across the suspension bridge to the Jewels of the Sky bird aviary. And as we go, we're heading past the Macaw Landing. In the Jewels of the Sky bird aviary, you gotta look closely to find them because they're little bitty finches. Buy all the best butterfly plants in the garden center, which is stop number 11. And of course, exit through the gift shop. What's that? You can buy bugs, ew. I wanna buy bugs. And of course, You can buy all different kinds of books about butterflies and different kinds of bugs. And for more information about things that you can do the next time you're in Coconut Creek, click this video right here. We wanna thank Butterfly World for hosting us today. We had a wonderful time. We'll place a link to their website for admission information in the description below.